Ahoy, mateys. <laughs> Trying to give you a little show around of the uh, Van Horn RV park that I'm at in Van Horn, Texas. This is a cafe. It was open this morning. I had breakfast. It's closed now, but it will be open again for lunch or uh, rather supper. Uh, there's a pretty hen. Hi. And look, here's the joker that woke me up this morning. What is your name? Is it Fred? You're not going to tell me. Perfect. You, you sound like a Fred. <laughs> I guess if I had two hens, I'd crow too. Van Horn Mountains. There was a lot more uh, rigs here this morning, but a lot of them pulled out. Uh, in fact, the people I had breakfast with, they pulled out too. They're on their way to Arizona. This is a stopping point for them. They're from Jackson, Michigan. And uh, they said this is the ninth time that they have been here. They've been retired for uh, five years. They've been coming to Arizona from Jackson, Michigan for five years. And they stop here. They just love it. Well, I can see why. I, I I started liking it when I first got here last night. They were very flexible and accommodating. Um, there was I, I, at first I pulled into that site over there. They said you're going to have to check it out. The electricity might not work. Well, guess what? The electricity didn't work. But then they had also given me an alternative. Uh, which is on the other side of the building where I'm camped at now. And it's worked out beautiful. And I am still full from breakfast. And that was three hours ago. I want to show you how nice the bathrooms are. No, Troy, I'm not going in the women's because there could be somebody in there. Very, very nice and clean. Got a heater here. It's nice and warm in here. Nice clean showers. Now on this one it says it's out of order, but on this one it says the water's in backwards. <laughs> Turn it to cold for hot. Okay. I've seen that happen before. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, Crawford Ranch is like that. It was quiet last night. There was a train. I could not hear the I-10 traffic. It didn't bother me at all. This is a Good Sam's Park. I guess if you're a member of Good Sam's, you can save. Once again, the people here are just super nice. Uh, for me, it was $25. You know, that includes the water and electric. That's comparable to State Park and other places. Other places actually are more. This place has got everything. Uh, forgot to show you the laundry room, but I will be doing my laundry. It's uh, $2 for wash and will probably uh, run me about dollar twenty-five for drying, just to guess. So for about four bucks, I'll have my laundry done today. What are you doing by my rig? <laughs> I'm not going to ask. I took a picture of this earlier with a camera.
playground. I have no idea what this structure is. You throw a ball in there? I don't know what it is. Kind of looks like maybe you throw a ball in there. I don't think there's a law against crossing a campsite that's unoccupied. So guess what? <laughs> These are tent sites, by the way. That's what I'm on, actually. Not that I need a tent site. Okay, I was thinking that that was where the stables were, but that's not it. There are stables. I believe that's them way over there. In other words, you come and you want to take your horse out of the trailer, there's uh, stables for them over there. So that's kind of cool. The actual town of Van Horn is only about a half a mile away. Um, in fact, I'm going to go to the Dollar General there and get a couple things that I need. And I'm just going to relax the rest of the day. Uh oh, what's this? Oh, hmm. must be one of those bait things. I guess. Don't know. I'll put it in the trash. <sighs> so I had the strap over my head. <laughs> Someone else is pulling out over there. Checkout time is actually 11 o'clock, but I think they're kind of flexible. All right, mates. That's it. I'll upload this. Head into town. Uh, it's just so relaxing and peaceful. My head nail pass tomorrow. I think so, but. In the meantime, fair winds and smiles, and of course, make it